Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today it's just me on a solo trip back to Memphis. So just made it through security and I'm over in the D gate. If you're familiar with the Las Vegas airport, then you know where I'm at. So I've got about an hour to burn. So let's go check out Starbies. do this so bad oh. Gary's much better at this than I am but I did make it to my gate and it is almost time to board um so yeah I got I did get a cup at Starbucks and I did get a snack and so yeah so we should be boarding hopefully in the next like 10-15 minutes and I'm gonna take you guys on this pineapple passion fruit lemonade is actually super tasty and fun story I almost left my cell phone at Starbucks because I'm an idiot but yeah so this is what I'm drinking it's interesting it's got like the dried pineapple in it pineapple pretty tasty we are waiting for the pre-boards I'm clean and this is gonna be kind of a long, longer flight. Still don't know who my sleep buddy is gonna be. Usually it's Gary, but he probably be in this trip. So I think it's like about a four, almost a four hour flight. Hopefully it's like about three and a half hours. Um, Pocket. If you have not done so, download the Fly Delta app and make sh it to make each step of your travel journey easier. Safety features upon this aircraft. If your video monitor is not working, please let a flight attendant know. Thank you. Welcome aboard.
lot of people ride on airplane food and say that it's not very good, but this one is actually pretty tasty. So I'm gonna keep eating and I'll let you guys know what my final final thoughts were. Still got about two hours, two and a half hours left of this flight, so. like the first time ever I didn't have to walk very far to a connecting gate so we got in at like A71 and my connecting gate is A69 and this is not a very big airport it's actually pretty small I have to say at least based on what I can see and uh, the area around me is not really full of people so hopefully that means that this won't be a crazy full flight, but I'm in first class, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so let's talk about the last flight a little bit. So just in case you guys can't hear the audio from the plane, because it was so loud. Well, most planes are really loud. So um, I flew in first class here. It was about a three and a half hour flight. It honestly really wasn't bad. It was a little bit bumpy for takeoff and landing, but I mean, those are situations that are completely out of the traveler's control. And um, so we did get lunch on that flight and I did get the, the like 
chili rubbed burger with caramelized onions and then like this fennel salad which was actually delicious um i mean it could have been that i was hungry too but it was good um and my coke zero pretty much lasted me the entire flight that is one thing as to why i love first class they give you like the whole can of soda and they check in with you like constantly to see if you need anything to drink anything else to eat i did take my snacks that they offered me and put them in my book bag um for later tonight in the hotel because i will not have time to go to the grocery store when i get there so um you know just in case i get a little hungry um i'll probably hoard some more snacks from this flight and put them in my bag maybe so but yeah the flight was not bad i watched bridesmaids while i was on the flight and it was kind of cool going over lake michigan that was interesting and then now i'm here in detroit which um there's a guy that I was friends with online when I was in high school that lived in Detroit. Fun, fun story. So, um, but anyways, let's see how this one goes. We got about another 20 minutes or so till we board. So, see you guys soon. I'll come get you. All right, guys. So I did not get the best window. It's definitely seeing better days so I don't know how well the takeoff and landing shots are gonna look but yeah also this flight has no wi-fi or at least not the free wi-fi and then there's no seatback entertainment but it's okay I downloaded some books it's unlikely but if cabin pressure changes the panels are not on the right Your seat backs are upright, tray tables and current items are stowed, and aisle armors are lowered. Then take a moment to the safety information card in your seat pocket. As we complete our final safety check, let us know if any questions. We'll do everything we can to register the safe and relaxing flight this evening. luggage made it without any issues she's a little scuffed up but I have read online that you can like use a little bit of soap and like buff it out I didn't tape a whole lot of this flight um, because I couldn't really show you anything because um, the window was just like shattered um, it actually really wasn't a bad flight um, the person that was next to me we chatted the entire flight and um, funny story he works in like fire investigations as a firefighter EMS and I work in organ donation so it was it made for good conversation so now we are gonna go ahead to the hotel 
I have made it back to my hotel. It is a little bit late. My Uber driver was interesting. He was talking about his ex and it was, it was a weird drive, but we have made it to the hotel. We have checked in. I am exhausted, so I am going to go lay down for the night. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And uh, we will come and get you guys for the next one. And as always, ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody.